Hello again everyone. So again, I hope you are all guys having a good day. So for our today's lesson, we have the depreciation. So methods of depreciation. So for this one, so depreciation is usually defined as the decrease in worth of a property due to passage of time. So basically, of course, if we will buy a product, let's say we will buy an aircon okay, for a for a 20,000 pesos. So for for you bought it a brand new aircon for 20,000 pesos. Of course, after some years, after some years, let's say after uh, five years, that will no longer be 20,000 pesos. Okay? The, the, the price will depreciate due to time. Okay, so we have multiple ways or methods of evaluation of depreciation. So we have the first one, the straight line method, which is our um lesson for today so we have the first one straight line method second one is sinking fund method uh, sum of years digit uh, declining balance double declining balance and the service out method so first i will uh, try my best to discuss to you what is the straight line method which is the most uh, easiest the easiest method of all so let's get into it Okay, so explaining to you the definition of straight line method. So the straight line method, or we also uh, also called SLM, so the simplest method in evaluating depreciation. So the depreciation charge is kept constant every year. So you have to take note of that. That is really important. That uh, remember that in a straight line method, the depreciation charge or the depreciation is constant all throughout the year, no matter what year it is. Okay, so let's try our sample problem. Our first sample problem. So a machine costs 60,000 and the salvage value is 10,000 after five years. So calculate that. So we have multiple uh, questions. We have um, depreciation per year, total depreciation after four and five years, and book value book value at year three. All right. So before we answer this, I have to explain to you guys the symbols that I will be using. Okay. So let's try first the depreciation per year. Again, for the straight line method or SLM, the depreciation per year is constant all throughout the year, no matter what year it is. So for that, we'll be using the um, symbol D or the small d. Okay. Small d, which is the depreciation. This will be the constant depreciation per year for SLM. Okay. Now, uh, next one is we will be using uh, CO, okay? CO or C0 for the book value, um, original book value. Original book value. Okay, so, what is original book value? Basically, original book value, that is the value of the product when you bought it. Okay? So, as you can see from, the, from our problem, so a machine cost is 60000 and the salvage value is 10,000. Therefore, the 60,000 will be your original book value. That means when uh, when the individ uh, individual purchased the machine, he paid, the individual paid 60,000. Okay? And then after five years, the value of the machine depreciates into 10,000. Okay? Now, we have CO for the original book value. Again, that's the initial value of the product. And then for the salvage value, so uh, we will be using C L. Okay. Um, that's C L. Mm, okay. okay C L. Salvage. Salvage. Or you can also call it um scrap value. Okay. Okay, so what is C L? So C L that will be the salvage value or the scrap value. Okay. So so let me uh, make this clear. In terms of solving, if we are computing some problems, salvage value and scrap value, scrap value are just the same. Okay? Whatever the given, if it says here the scrap value is 10,000, the salvage value is 10,000, it's just the same. It is still CL. But the definition of this is uh, different. Okay? So the definition of salvage value or the scrap value. So the definition of salvage value, that is the val that is the what you call or the value that if you want the product to be sell as a second hand. Okay, so let's say after five years. Uh, okay, so again, 60,000 
uh, the initial cost and the salvage value is 10,000. So the 10,000 pesos, that will be the value of the machine if you will sell it as a second hand. Okay, so that is the definition. Now, for the scrap value, scrap value, that is the worth of the machine if you will consider it as a garbage already. Uh, no longer usable, you will not sell it as a second hand. Okay, so for salvage as a second hand or third hand or whatever, for the scrap value, you will now consider it as a trash or a garbage. No longer usable. So again, for the for solving, salvage and scrap value are just the same. But the definition of salvage and scrap are different. I hope that is clear. All right, so next we have, um, we can have DN. Okay, so we have small d, which is a constant depreciation per year, and capital DN, which is the total depreciation, total depreciation after year n, year n. So basically, uh, what happens is, for this example, you will have a depreciation at year one, right? And then, for example, you are asked to find uh, total depreciation after four years. Okay, so for four years. Oh no, if you are asked to find the depreciation at year one, okay, so that will be your small d. That's, that is the constant depreciation per year. But if you are asked, if you are asked to find the uh, depreciation at year three, that is still d because that is again constant. Okay? But if you are asked to find the total depreciation at year three, you what you uh, what you have to do is you have to add the depreciation from the previous year up to that year. So if you are asked to find total depreciation after year three, okay, that means you have to add the depreciation at year one, two, and three, and the total of that will be the total depreciation. Okay. I think that's uh, it for the symbols, and I think we can proceed on um, answering uh, the question. So for this one, we have two methods. We have the table method is what I uh, what I call it uh, is table method or the uh, shortcut method, but basically just using the formulas. You can also you can always derive formula. Okay, so let's try this one. So for the table method, I'll be uh, showing you. The table method first, and then I'll be showing you next the uh, uh, formula method, which is the simple, simpler method. Okay, right, so this will be our table, and then let's say this will be your um your years, okay? This is your years, column of years, and the symbol for years is n. We'll be using n. And then this will be um, okay. CN. I'll just add it here. Um, CN is the book value at year. And so basically, book value at year, that is just the price of the uh, product at that year, at that particular year. Okay, so CN. And then for the next one, we have. Let's call this the D or the, the constant depreciation or D. Um, this is D. Okay. D and then the last column will be your total depreciation at year N or D. Okay. Okay, so answering this one, you'll have... So as you can see, we have a given here. Let's try to put all the given. So we have a, a given of... I think I forget another one. Let's let's say N will be years and L or capital L will be the um, total useful life. Oh, useful life. Total useful life. Or we can just call it useful life years. Okay. So that will be L. Now I'm putting all the givens here. Um, uh, given we have a uh, machine cost is 60,000 so we have that will be our original cost or the CO that is um, 60,000 and we have and the salvage value is 10,000 so we can have that CL that's the salvage value 
or scrap value, whatever. And then after five years, so it will be useful for five years. So therefore, your L will be just five years. Okay. Now, first we have to find, in order for us to complete this table, we have to find the D or the small D. That is the constant depreciation per year. So if you want to find that, the formula will be, uh, if you analyze this, as you can see that there will be a constant depreciation per year. So the depreciation per year must all be equal. So in order for us to get that, the formula will just be, um, just write it here. Okay, D is just equal to the original cost, okay, minus the salvage value all over the useful life. Okay. Now, if you will get that, you'll have here D must be equal to CO is what? 60K. I, I'll just write here 60K to save some space. 60K minus the salvage value is this one, right? 10K. 10K. And then the useful life is 5 years. So all over 5. That, that's a, that is 50,000 all over 5. So D now will be equal to 10,000. 10,000. Therefore, there will be a depreciation per year of amount of, with an amount of 10,000. So therefore, this table, we can now complete this table or this column. This is just, of course, this is year zero, right? At year zero, there's, there is no depreciation yet. And then for the year one, two, three, four, and year five. So we have a depreciation of 10,000 per year. So we have 10K here. 10K, these are all constant again, all throughout the year. 10K, 10K, and then 10K. All right, so for the zero year or the present year, the CN or the book value at year zero is also the original cost, which is the CO. For the CO, we have 60,000. So this is 60,000, okay? okay? So we can just erase this one and make it blank. Okay, so we have a 60,000. So after, at year one, there will be a depreciation of how much, which is 10K. So that will be, the 60K will no longer be 60K. That will be 60K minus 10K. Therefore, the book value at year one will only be now 50,000. The 60 minus 10, okay? And then the total depreciation at year one is just 10,000. Okay, so that's 10K. So next, at year two, again, so 50,000, it will depreciate again by another year, which is another 10,000. So you have to sub subtract again another 10,000. So this will be 40,000. And the total depreciation at year two, you have to add all the depreciation from year one. So all of this one. Okay, so this one should be here. So 10 plus 10, that will be 20K. So this is 20 Next, another year, so minus uh, 10K again, so that is 30K. So the book value of the machine is just 30K at year 3. And then this will, be, uh, this will for the total depreciation, you have to add this 3, okay? Adding those 3, you'll have here 30K. And then another year, that is 20K, you have to subtract again by 10, uh, 10K. And then uh, for 10K, so that is 40K. Okay. And then for the year 5, you have to subtract again, that is 10K, and then we have here 40K. So, in order for you to know if you are right, always, this is always, the book value at the last year, this must be also your CL or the salvage value. As you can see, our salvage value is here, which is 10K, and this is also 10k. Another thing for you to check, um, this one, okay, okay, the last uh, total depreciation must be your CO minus CL. Okay, as you can see, our CO is 60k and CL is 10k, so that is also 50k for you to check if you are right. 
Okay, so uh, for that, we can answer the problem. So we have first problem A, depreciation per year. We already have an answer for that, which is 10K. And the total depreciation at year 4 and year 5. So year 4 at year 5. Dep uh, total depreciation, that is this one. We have 40K, that is for year 4. And then we have 50K for year 5. And then we have uh, asked to find the book value at year 3. Book value, that is CN. And we are asked to find uh, 3. So that is C3. Okay. So C3, so this is the book value. And then look at year 3. This is year 3. So that is 30. Okay. Simple as that. Okay. Now, if you don't want to, uh, as you can see, this is quite a long method for the, uh, if you use the table method. If you use the formula, okay, so we already have a formula like this. Already have a formula like this. And then another formula that you can use is um, you can have the book value will just be C N is equal to um, C O minus D N. Okay, D N. And then we can also have a formula of D N is just equal to small d times n. As you can see, straight line method is a pretty straightforward topic. Uh, as you can see, the definition is the simplest method. So uh, let's try to answer letter B using the formulas. Okay, so answering letter B again, this one. So total depreciation after year 4 and 5. So total depreciation at year 4 muna. Okay, so year 4, so we have D4. So that is equal to D times 4. So the, we already have the value for D. Value for D is 10,000. So this is 10,000 okay, times N. And N is just 4 times 4. So as you can see, this just be equal to 40,000. And we just have the same answer. This one is just the same. And then um, we can uh, find or answer letter C. So letter C, we are asked to find book value at year 3. So C3. This is equal to the CO. CO is 60,000, right? So 60,000, 60K minus D, which is 10K. And then... N is 3 times 3. So that will be 60 minus 30K. So this is just 30K. So this is uh, one of the, uh, this is the formula for a straight line method if you want to find it fast instead of using the table. Because again, if you use the table and the given years or the, salvi or the useful years is like 25 years, your table will be too long. Okay? And it will be very prone to error. So you can use just uh, you can use the formulas if you want. Um, I hope this is clear and I think that will be all for this video since straight line method is the simplest method of all the depreciation method. And I hope you stay tuned to these um, videos or to this channel so that you can learn also the following. Um, depreciation method, which is the sinking fund, sum of years, etc. So I hope I was able to help you guys with this one, especially the during these online classes. And if you have any question, uh, feel free to comment it down below. And I think that's all. That's it for this video. And don't forget to subscribe, of course, to my YouTube channel if, uh, if I was able to help you. And of course, hit that bell notification icon for you to know or be notified as soon as I upload a new one. So I want to thank you all guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.